starting with the greatest name of Almighty Allah, who is the most merciful, gracious, beneficial, and the creator of whole universe. So, Assalamu alaikum, guys. Today we are going to know, we are going to study the uh, third topic concerned to the law of thought, name injuria sign damnum versus damnum sign injuria, which is on the third point in the content list. Injuria sign damnum versus damnum sign injuria. What difference between these? So let's move towards first to the injuria sign damnum, which is a Latin maxim. It's a le- legal maxim, which means that injury or loss or damage so caused to the plaintiff without suffering any physical injury or damage. Here the plaintiff is suffering the injury or loss without any physical injury or damage for example he is not uh, stabbed by anyone uh, or nobody has snatched his money or nobody has uh, done the robbery against him though he has though he's suffering the injury he's suffering the loss or damage so this is called injuria sign damage we will clear it by having an example for example, where A roams around B's house without any justification. Huh? A means roams around B's house. Then in that case, there is a violation of legal right of B. And therefore, this maxim is applicable. So A, A here is not firing. A here is not uh, doing trespass against anyone's house. Here A is not, uh, what we can say, fighting against anyone a is not fighting against b a is not snatching is snatching b's money he's just roaming around the house of b so this is called the injurious sign damnum where the b is b is uh, suffering the uh, loss or uh, loss or damage or injury this a is act is against uh, a is act is against to the right of b though there is no any physical injury or loss It's a Latin term where injuria refers to injury. Sign refers to sign refers to without. Sign means without. And damno refers to property or any physical loss. So therefore the term refers to injury suffered without actual loss. There's no any actual loss, there's just uh, there's just an act against the uh, someone's right. Now let's move to our case, Ishbai versus White. Case number one of uh, this subject taught me. This maxim is well explained in the case Ishbai versus White. Ishbai is plaintiff while the White is defendant. Where the plaintiff was a qualified voter, Miss Ishbai was a qualified voter at a parliamentary election. While the defendant who was a returning officer in an election wrongfully refused to take a vote of the plaintiff. Means why he didn't take the vote of Ishbai, he didn't consider the vote of Ishbai or he did not give any chance to Ishbai to cast a vote. Although the plaintiff didn't suffer any loss, means plaintiff means Ishbai, suffered any loss by such wrongful act as the candidate, means a, a person to whom he was giving the uh, vote a candidate who was going to be elected by the people as a candidate he wanted to vote on the election one means he was not given the chance by white to cast a vote though a person to whom he was going to vote won the election the legal rights of the plaintiff were infringed Ms. Ashby's legal rights were infringed because because he was not given any chance to cast a vote and therefore the defendant was held liable so this was a this was a famous case still this is a famous case that a person white didn't give didn't give the chance didn't give the chance to Ishbai to cast a vote for his candidate in case of injurious sign damno the law suffered is not any physical loss but due to the violation of legal right this is simply a violation of legal right there is no any physical loss or damage now let's move to our the damnum sign injuria. Damnum sign injuria is a maxim which refers to injury 
which is being suffered by the plaintiff but there is no violation of any legal right of a person means there is a dam there is a damage there is a, there is a crystal clear da uh, damage to a person though there is no any violation of a right of a person the plaintiff cannot bring an action against the other because it's not actionable in law because because his right is not infringed they are just the damages unless there is some infringement of a legal right damnum sign injuria the literal meaning of the word refers to loss or damage in terms of money property or physical loss without the infringement of any legal right it is completely contrary or against to the injuria sign damnum Okay, so now let's move to our the uh, case two, Gloucester Grammar School. The defendant was the schoolmaster. Intentionally opened the school in front of the plaintiff's school, hmm? causing damage to him. Mr. Person, he opened the school, grammar school, in front of someone's already existing school. causing damage to him how he did how he caused damage let's move let's see as due to an increase of competition the plaintiff 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 is the person who who was already there whose school was already there whose school was in existence already there so the increase of competition the plaintiff has to reduce their fees from 40 pence to 12 pence so this was a this was a clear loss to the plaintiff because his fees is now reducing he is reducing his fees because the, the because the students are not getting admitted in his school 40 pence to 12 pence per school scholar per quarter it was held that even though the plaintiff has suffered harm but there was no infringement of any legal right therefore the defendant can't be liable why there was no any infringement of legal right because a person who opened a new grammar school he was on his right he started the school maybe on his uh, own plot or was on rent but there was no any right of the plaintiff in that so defendant was not held liable in this case so hope you cleared the topic so tomorrow or in the next lecture we will study the essentials of tort thank you guys thanks for watching stay tuned stay safe and good up